All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. What we have for you today, a 2020 GT350R in the one year only, awesome color, my favorite color, Grabber Lime. Um, from what we're hearing, those in the 350R community are saying that this is a one of 19 in Grabber Lime, but one of eight with the black roof. Production numbers aren't officially out yet, I don't know why, to me it's baffling. We're in you know, June now of 2022. Production numbers on these cars uh, for the other years were out so much sooner, so I don't really know what the holdup is, but those numbers seem to be consistent with a lot of the guys and connections we have. I would take the Grabber Lime over our Heritage, which is parked right next to it. You have a car that was 280 units built compared to one that is one of eight with the black roof. Why is the black roof important? I've been saying, the striped elite cars are the ones to have. Now you have a car that was a one year only in this color, no stripes. And the cars with no stripes that have the black roof just look so much better. You get to match the wheels, you get to match the mirrors, you get to match the wing, the carbon fiber wing, carbon fiber wheels. We've been hunting this down for a while now. This car currently has eight and a half miles on it. So obviously a collector's dream, uh, very, surprised if you know somebody came along and bought this car to drive you have the last year for the 350r model you have the flat plane crank voodoo engine you have the manual transmission a car under 10 miles and a car that again i keep pushing because it is so important color plays a huge role in these cars anymore not just the 350rs but anything um, you know collector grade quality um, and here you go a one of 19 one of eight with the black roof and it is, it's a perfect car. We uh, nicknamed it the Grinch and the color, you know, you don't see much in, in really any other cars, uh, especially the newer stuff. So it's unique in a, in a lot of ways. So we're gonna start under the hood as we do on all of our cars. You have the 5.2 liter Voodoo engine, which is giving you 526 horsepower out of that V8. And that flat plane crank engine, if you haven't, had the chance to hear the sound of it. If you go back to some of our other videos on cars that had a little more miles, we didn't want to do it on this, obviously, because it's not broken in. To hear that rev and to hear you know that sound of that exhaust is unbelievable, especially when you flip the switch and let it breathe a little bit and put it in sport mode. Uh, unbelievable, really is probably you know the best sounding cars we've had the pleasure to own, and uh, that's including the ZR1s, uh, C7s, and, and really anything else. The sound of these cars are just unbelievable. So the flat plane crank engine, what's unique about that is this is the only cars that Ford ever put that motor into. Uh, there were some Ford fans who were hoping that car. Um, that motor would be put into the Ford GTs, never happened. So exclusively the flat plane crank Voodoo engine, especially the Gen 2s, which this has, that is exclusively for the GT 350Rs. So you have that with the six speed manual transmission. As the GT 500s got rolled back out in 2020, those cars are all automatics. They're not naturally aspirated, they're supercharged. So when we hear a lot of times of you know, people saying, oh, it's a 350R, I could get a GT500, or the GT500s are less than the GT350Rs. They are, but to a collector, they want the naturally aspirated flat plane crank engine. They want a manual transmission. You can't get those anymore with the GT500. So that's why collectors, ourselves included, want the GT350Rs. Grab Relime exterior with the black roof. As you move into the interior, you have your ebony with red accents, Recaro seats finished in cloth with micro suede. This car is equipped with the exposed carbon fiber interior. The technology package, cross traffic alert, navigation, B&O stereo, adjustable strut mounts, rear wing, carbon fiber wheels with the wheel locks, and the carbon fiber wheels, which are notorious and a huge difference one of the huge differences between a 350 and an R model um, are gonna be wrapped in the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. This car has the window sticker, car cover, and welcome box. As we mentioned to start the video, it is offered with just eight miles on the odometer. 
So this 2020 Ford Shelby GT350R pays homage to the original as the raciest Mustang in Ford stable, but with the level of refinement and sophistication that never would have occurred to the first R model that were created. The GT350R follows in the original's footsteps by redefining the Mustang with sensational on-track performance while taking advantage of Ford's 21st century expertise, most notably in the awe-inspiring Voodoo V8 engine, the 5.2 all-aluminum double overhead cam power plant that has thrilled GT350R drivers with its 526 horsepower and a raging exhaust note that can only come from its combination of the flat plane crank, free flowing plumbing, and an 8,250 peak RPM. And it's amazing when you see that red line in there, how far that tack goes until you see just that little red line at the 8,250 RPM mark. And once you get to about 4, 4,500, you're driving these things and you get on it a little bit, the sound, it just screams and it, it really is. It's just, it's exhilarating. The GT350R's Voodoo engine pairs exclusively with the Tremec smooth shifting six speed manual transmission, insisting on full driver involvement and contributing to a zero to 60 time of 3.8 seconds. This 2020 G350R jolts the sense upon first sight with its grabber line paint, blacked out roof, deep front splitter and rear high wing. So the front splitter obviously is not attached on this car, not installed, being with eight miles, it is now sitting on the passenger side, seat belted in. Uh, I would leave it that way, especially to collectors. If you're gonna drive it, different story. But to me, having that stuff not assembled is really neat, it's unique. The doors open to reveal an ebony interior with exposed carbon fiber trim and red accents. Deeply bolstered Recaro seats are finished in a combination of cloth and micro suede to hold the occupants gently but firmly in place. In addition to the B&O premium sound system, the technology package includes such features as a cross traffic alert and navigation, while an array of instruments and the short throw shifter take center stage during on-track workouts. Wrapped in low profile Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 rubber, the exclusive 19 inch carbon fiber wheels shave 65 pounds from the curb weight and the rear seat delete removes another 100 pounds. Adding to a considerable reduction in weight, the result is a car that has already been named and appointed as a future classic. So guys, that's a wrap on our 2020 GT350R finished in grabber lime, black roof, eight and a half miles, literally every box, check, check, check. I'm telling you, I would rather have this in the heritage cars. I know the heritage cars are what they are, but the next closest thing is gonna be the cars that are one year only colors, low miles, and here you go. If you haven't already, please subscribe, leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, and be on the lookout for what we have coming your way.